It is beyond me to understand how a company who did nothing to develop this drug then have the gall to charge $375,000. They are leveraging human suffering to make money. My mom has a disease known as Lambert-Eaton. Lambert-Eaton is a neuromuscular disorder which impacts all aspects of being human, whether it's lifting your arms, lifting your legs, opening your eyelids, eating, breathing, even brain fog. For the past couple of years, my mom has been on a medication known as 3-4-DAP that was offered via the Compassionate Use Program from Jacobus Pharmaceuticals. And they offered this for free. There's only been a couple hundred patients that have been found to have this disease. It is extremely rare. At the end of December, Catalyst Pharmaceuticals received FDA approval to begin selling their drug. And as a part of that, 3-4-DAP uh, was no longer able to be given to patients. So they get approval for this drug and they proceed to share that they're going to charge $375,000. If I could speak to the Catalyst CEO, Patrick McKinney, at a certain level, I simply feel sorry for him. I feel sad that at some point his value system became so skewed that he lost his way with what it means to be human. Instead, he, he's simply just trying to extract as much wealth as he possibly can. So now we're faced with a price tag of $375,000. We're reaching out to our health insurance company and they're saying we are rejected. So of course we're appealing that decision. We're basically at the end of February. So we have a month supply here. So my mother can no longer get access to 3-4 DAP and we are rushing to figure out what to do. What they're telling us is that, oh, there are some foundations that you can apply apply to for helping to ensure that Medicare will cover your mom. This is what they're saying to me, is to go rely on a nonprofit foundation to cover the coinsurance. Let me tell you this, the coinsurance is 40%. So let's just say 40% of $375,000. We're talking more than $100,000 here. The idea in my mind that these folks have the gall to say, go to a foundation to help pay for the drug really shows you the depths of their greed. We are all in this together, in this insane mess that we are seeing with this corporate greed. We deserve better, we know we deserve better, we can do better. It is insane to me that this is the culture we're creating, that this is what our quote unquote business leaders of our country do.